this is going to be interesting. Ooh. Hi guys, so um, welcome back to my channel, it's Mike here once again and this is an unusual timed video. First of all, I've moved locations. I am sat on my bed, cross-legged. I'm very comfortable with some support because normally when I make my videos, I don't have any support. I'm sort of cross-legged on my bed, leaning forward, looking up at the camera, and I get really out of breath and I just realise maybe it's because I'm sitting really strangely. But to be fair, I get really nice, like, I like seeing the lights in the background and things and, and getting the light from the window. It's quite a nice space to do the video normally, but today I need a change. I need to sit back and breathe. Okay, so we are on May the 17th, which is very early for me to be doing my May book haul. However, I made a promise to myself at the beginning of this month that I wouldn't buy any books this month because I have so many at the moment. I've just realised, have I said book haul or have I said wrap up? Oh no, I'm so annoyed with myself. I can never remember whether I get it right. Anyway, let me let me kind of shimmy on into what I mean to say. This is early to do a book haul. I understand that. I normally do it at the end of the month to kind of collate all the books that I have bought during the month. But this month I promised myself I wouldn't buy any because I bought a MacBook, which is not a book, but has the word book in its name. Um, and I will link below to my vlog video where I talk about the MacBook purchase. But it's a lot of money and I just wanted to curb the spending this month to sort of, um, I don't know, balance, I guess, get some balance. Because I did a car boot sale, I'm selling stuff on eBay and that's all going quite well at the moment. And I just wanted to sort of I, didn't, I don't have to buy books every month because I've got a big stack of books here that I'm thoroughly looking forward to reading or have enjoyed reading. So it's just sort of, I wanted to not have to buy any books this month, but I had bought one already. And that was, when I ordered it, it was when it was first released. And then this is Leah on the Offbeat by Becky Albertalli. This is a sequel to Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda or Love, Simon, the film. And it's about the um, character Leah and it's her story. And so I did order this a little while ago and it arrived um, when it was released. So I thought to myself, oh, that's frustrating. I've bought one book. And then I thought, well, what am I going to do for my book haul video this month? Am I just going to say, oh, I've just got one book. Here we go. It's a really short video. But um, oh, this, this is what this is about. So uh, when it comes to drumming, Leah Burke is usually right on the beat, but real life is a little harder to manage. She loves to draw, but is too self-conscious to show it. And she hasn't mustered the courage to tell her friends she's bisexual, not even her openly gay BFF, Simon. So Leah really doesn't know what to do when her rock solid friendship group starts to fracture. With prom and college on the horizon, tensions are running high and it's hard for Leah when the people she loves are fighting, especially when she realizes she might love one of them more than she ever intended. So um, I had to get this. I, I, I love the film and I, I, I really like the book too and I'll link videos to why I discussed those below. Um, so this arrived and I thought, okay, I've got one book to talk about in my book haul this month. Great. And then I went to Bristol. Now I love Bristol. I seem to be gravitating towards that city. This year I think we've been five or six times, sometimes for work, sometimes just for pleasure, um, but it seems to be where it's happening for me. Um, and so I went and for a little browse with Jay and I involved going into some bookshops. I didn't need to buy books. I didn't want to buy books. I didn't have to buy books, but I bought books. I know, but when you see them, you'll understand completely why I bought them. So the first shop we went into was FOP and I love FOP. What a great shop. And they had two for five pound on, on, on all their books. And I just thought, well, I have to get some because there were some I really wanted. The first one I got was I See You by Claire McIntosh. Now I just read Let Me Lie and thoroughly enjoyed it. So I knew I wanted to get a couple more of her books. So I saw this two for five pound, can't go wrong. And this is, you do the same thing every day. You know exactly where you're going. You're not alone. When Zoe Walker sees her photo in the classified section of a London newspaper, she is determined to find out why it's there. There's no explanation, just a grainy image, a website address, and a phone number. 
She takes it home to her family who are convinced it's just someone who looks like Zoe, but the next day the advert shows a photo of a different woman and another the day after that. Is it a mistake, a coincidence, or is someone keeping track of every move they make? Ooh, it sounds good. Um, so I really like Claire McIntosh, Tosh, Claire McIntosh's book that I read recently, and so I wanted to get this to continue down the crime at nine. Now, so that was the first part of the two for five pound. The second one of the two for five pound is The Martian. This is by Andy Weir, and I love The Martian, the film. I love it. I just, whenever it's on, I gravitate towards it. I've got the Blu-ray, oh, it's shiny. Um, and um, I just really, really enjoy watching it. And I fancied reading it. Um, if you don't know what it's about, it's, um, I'm stranded on Mars. I have no way to communicate with Earth. If the oxygenator breaks down, I'll suffocate. If the water reclaimer breaks down, I'll die of thirst. If the habitat breaches, I'll just kind of explode. If none of those things happen, I'll eventually run out of food and starve to death. I'm screwed. The film is great. And it's, um, yeah, look at that. And I opened it in the, in the shop to see just like I always, I always read, I always open the beginnings of books in shops, and if and if they've got a map, then I'm like, Whoo. and I like to read the first line. I've got a bit of a um, fascination with first lines. I might do a video on that actually. Um, this first line is fantastic. Um, fair warning, there's about to be a swear word. I'm pretty much fucked. So I had to get this, and I've wanted to read it for a while. And he's got a new book out which I can't remember the name of, but it's on my um, wish list on Amazon. I really fancied that too. It's on like a moon base or something. It's kind of a thriller, but it's on, it's kind of got a sci-fi element. So that I fancied. So then we were walking through Bristol. I went to a shop and I think this shop, it's in, it's up by Park Street or on Park Street. I don't even remember, remember the name, but it's on the, on the steep hill. I think it's called the Three Pound Bookshop, but I will double check and I'll put a link below. Um, it's, uh, as you guess it, a shop where the books cost three pound each. Um, but they do do two for five pound. So I was just rummaging around the um, YA section as per usual. I'd been to crime already and there was nothing I fancied. I was looking around in general. I went to the poetry section as well, which is very, very unlike me, but I was tempted, but I didn't in the end. However, I was in the YA section and I saw this. Yes, that's right, friends, it is another Target Doctor Who book. This is Doctor Who and the Abominable Snowmen, uh, and this is by Terence Dix, and it features the second Doctor. Now, let me tell you what it's about. So, the Doctor has been uh, to Det Sen Monastery before and expects the welcome of a lifetime, but the monastery is a very different place from when the Doctor last came. Fearing a, uh, an attack at any moment by the legendary Yeti, the monks are prepared to defend themselves and see the Doctor as a threat. The Doctor and his friends join forces with Travers, an English explorer out to prove the existence of the elusive abominable snowmen, but they soon discover that these yeti are not the timid animals that Travers seeks. They are the unstoppable servants of an alien intelligence. So again, following through my love affair with these target books of Doctor Who, um, I got this and um, it was three pound, which is cheap for these books, and I was just really, really pleased with it. And I'm looking forward to again reading a bit about the second Doctor, because I don't know anything. I have not seen them, I've not watched them, I've not read anything, so this will be a nice um, change. Then, so the second half of my two for five pound binge was this beast. This is a discovery of witches. It's by Deborah Harkness, and this has been on my radar for a little while. I think I've sent samples to my Kindle um, around the place, and I've read lots of reviews about it, and I've heard people talking about it on BookTube. It's a world of witches, demons, and vampires, a manuscript which holds the secrets of their past and their key to their future. Diana and Matthew, the forbidden love at the heart of it. So, yeah, I just... This was something... It's been... It's just been... I just fancied it. Should we go with the first, sweet sentence, the first sentence? Okay. Um, the leather-bound volume was nothing remarkable. Hmm. Or was it? <laughs> so no, it's just been on my radar for a little while. Um, witches, vampires, demons. I, I love all that sort of thing. Look, though, it's a right chunk of a book. How many pages are we talking? Oh, gosh. Am I going to be worried? Six hundred and ninety pages. So this is going to be a bit of a labour of love, but I, I, I fancy a bit of like 
this kind of demony magic y stuff. You know me, I love a bit of supernatural. Um, so I was chuffed with those two, and then, while still in Bristol, we made our way up Park Street and ended up at Forbidden Planet, which I love, geeky me. And we were in there, and I was walking around, deciding which Funko Pops to buy. Didn't end up buying any, though. Are you impressed? And I was just looking at all the action figures, and I just wanted everything. I even spent a long time um, looking at, at comic books, which is not something that I read either. But I feel like reading a graphic novel, so I was a bit like, hmm, what do I want? Um, swing around the corner, and what do I see on the shelf? But this beauty, this is Doctor Who, The Missy Chronicles. Again, I sent this to my Kindle when I first saw it was about. Uh, just a uh, sample. I'm terrible for doing that. Sometimes I read these samples, sometimes I don't. I haven't read this sample, but I love Missy and I love Michelle Gomez as Missy. And this was £2 off, which I've removed the sticker of because I think the price stickers on books, I don't know, how, how do you feel about price stickers on books? I don't like them, I like to remove them. Um, but it's got, um, uh, no, it has got a sticker on there because this is signed. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't tell who it's signed by, but it is in fact signed and it was cheaper than buying it otherwise. And it's cheaper than everything else I've seen it. And I, I'm just really enjoying reading about Doctor Who at the minute. Um, I think perhaps because it's, it's not on and it's been a while and perhaps I'm anticipating Jodie Whittaker's new Doctor and I can't wait for it and I'm just kind of, I'm just reveling all this Doctor Who wonderfulness at the moment. Um, well, a cool picture on the back as well. And it, um, sorry, this is um, six brand new short stories featuring your favorite time lady. And it just says on the back, it's got a quote and it says, I've had adventures too. My whole life doesn't revolve around you, you know? And I just love this idea. I love it, Missy. And so, yeah, this is, um, I'm looking forward. And it's a lovely hardback and beautiful image and yay. Um, or is there anything under, I love looking under the dust jackets and you think, hmm, what's on it? No, it's just plain red and that's fine. Nothing wrong with a bit of plain red, but um, I always think that's a nice little surprise when you look underneath and you find the design. So yes, that was my um, May book haul. And the reason I am recording it this early in the month is because I refuse to buy any more this month. This is my pledge to you, my booktube and bookish friends. I won't be buying any more this month. That is quite enough. And I'm not gonna get around to reading them this month anyway. They're gonna go on the bookshelf, on the pile. Um, so I'm not gonna buy any more but I am still reading and I will get to them and I, we will review them as we go. Um, what has everybody else been reading this month? Anything good? Anything you think I should know about? Any recommendations? I love a recommendation. Or have you read any of the books that I have just uh, mentioned? If so, please comment below and tell me what they're like, but don't spoil them. So far, actually, this is what's good about the whole booktube thing is people don't really spoil things for me. I haven't I haven't come across that yet. I haven't encountered a comment or a conversation or a video where the book has been spoiled. I think people do speak about them and how they enjoyed them or bits that they're liking or not liking, but they don't really kind of ruin the book. So that's, I like that. Um, so yeah, if you've read any of them, please let me know. And um, I hope everyone's having a fantastic reading month and a lovely month in general. And I will speak to you soon when I record another video of my um, escapades through my life. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh, I know you said au revoir. I don't know, I just came over all French, like I nearly went with it. Au revoir. Au revoir mon petit pois. Oh, I winked. Oh, <laughs> it's getting worse.